only child. Ah, monster, selfish, self-obsessed, narcissistic. Let's have five more, and big family, and the next day we're, we're like, no, stop here. Oh, only children are so selfish, or they're lonely, or that's a lot of pressure to put on them. If I had four or five kids, we'd spend all day making crafts, and then we drink hot cocoa by the fire. Those I, preconceived um, notions out so there about it. Yeah. We're, we just don't know what to do. Hi, this is Alice Bradley from Finn Slippy. How do you decide to have another child? I mean, what, what goes on in that decision? And are we just overthinking this whole process? So Scott and I have uh, one son, Henry, who is now six. And when he was around two or three, people were saying, you know, when do you have another? Have another. Have another. And we felt like, oh, it's just starting to get easy. What? Huh? We're sleeping through the night. I just wonder, like, you know, am I going to warp my son by leaving him as an only child? And I know only children everywhere are going to raise up in horror at what I just said, but, you know, you hear that. And I don't know. Is he going to be lonely and uh, strange? Yeah, that's kind of just what I'm trying to figure out here. Maybe you guys can provide some insight, because we need it. I'm an only child. Ah, monster, selfish, self-obsessed, narcissistic, right? There's definitely um, those preconceived notions out there about having an only child. And uh, it's something uh, my husband and I think about a lot because um, we have a daughter. She's four and a half. And I'm not sure whether we'll have more kids or not. Alice, I am so glad that you asked this question because this very question is what we are struggling with in my household right now, whether or not to have another child to add on to our family. I was an only child, and I think because of that, I tend to romanticize large families. If you decide to have more than one kid, or if you decide to have a child at all, it should be something that you feel really compelled to do. Uh, for me, anyway, I wouldn't want to be on the fence about that. Like, I mean, I have enough problems choosing a bathroom tile that I'm gonna have to live with for decades. It's a lifetime of commitment. I just think that, well, you know, if I had four or five kids, because like I do this with my two now, if I had four or five kids, we'd spend all day making crafts and then we'd drink hot cocoa by the fire and then at night I'd tuck them into a long row of seven dwarves beds and it's all perfect. But I wouldn't factor into that the increase in tantrums. So you guys both seem uh, young. Let's just put it right out. You guys are probably younger than me. I'm clearly not ready right now to have another child. That's period. I am not there. But when am I going to be there? What if I'm there in five years and I'm 45 and whoops, too late. And then do I go and adopt a child? And even then, but that seems sort of selfish to have a child when you're 45 and then I'm doing the math on that one. Our main reason for thinking we might stick with one is because we outnumber him at this point. So if it ever came down to a wrestling match, we have the opportunity to tag out. We had a neighbor at our uh, previous house who had, uh, they're older, their son is our age. Um, and I remember one day we were talking and I told her um, something to the extent of, you know, we may just have one child. And her reaction was, oh my God, I have to tell you, it is the biggest regret of my life that I only had one child. Don't do that. And here was someone, she wasn't judging me. She was trying to, um, you know, share with me the regret that she had to prevent me from making the same mistake. So that totally freaked me out. I do have times where I sit at our dining room table and I look around and I'm like, is everybody here? You know, when we're all together for dinner, I'm just... I don't know if everybody's here yet. I don't, are we missing anyone? I'm not, I'm not sure. And I think because of that, maybe, I just, I don't know if the door is totally closed on us adding to our family. I think if you can go into it without having any doubts at all, um, knowing that, you know, yeah, I think it's a good trade-off. I can give up a night's sleep or changing diapers again, then maybe you are ready. I don't know. I'm 100% certain about 50% of the time. Like you were saying, Dana, you know, what, looking at, looking around the table and, thinking, are we all here? I don't know. I don't know that I'm ever gonna know that. Because I always thought we'd have two. 
clearly this is not an easy decision, uh, and I guess I'm not going to come to any conclusions right now, but I will say that you're making me feel better about uh, thinking we might be okay with one. So actually, maybe I am coming closer to a decision. And I'll finally leave Scott alone, which would be nice for him. You know, I probably need to talk to my therapist for a few months, maybe every day. Join the Momversation at momversation.com.